Grand Rapids Community College receiving hundreds of thousands of dollars in grants to put, put toward education in a growing industry. The grant from the Grand Rapids Community Foundation puts $375,000 toward increasing the number of students preparing for health careers. Among the projects, the funds will go toward several new labs and classrooms. That will allow an additional 275 students to be certified over a period of five years, starting in July of next year. And Brian, the grant puts Grand Rapids Community College more than $11 million toward a $15 million goal. And for more on the project, I'm joined right now by Andy Baum, Associate Vice President for the College Advancement at GRCC. Thanks for joining us. Oh, thanks for having me. Well, the focus of this grant uh, mm -hmm. having to do with sort of looking to the future a little bit, isn't it? Tell us more about that. Where's Absolutely. the money going to go? Well, the, the money's going to go towards uh, the facilities uh, mm -hmm. at the college uh, within Cook Hall that allow us to renovate to train workers to go to work in health care, take our nursing programs, our dental programs, uh, other allied health programs, credit and non-credit give them the training so they can go to work to meet the needs of our community. And uh, really, there's a lot of interest in the healthcare field right now, and it's really, it really seems like you guys are answering that call. That's what we feel we're called to do, uh, to serve the needs of this community as the, the opportunities grow and we need more people to work in health care. That's the critical role that GRCC plays. And really, you've actually had to turn some applicants away in the past, right? Of like a thousand... Um, Absolutely. In, in years past, we'd turned away as many as a thousand students a year. We're just not able to serve them, and we made a commitment with our new president a year ago that we're not going to do that anymore. And so uh, our enrollment is skyrocketing right now. So there's still actually more money to be raised. Let's talk more about mm -hmm. that. There's a pretty big capital campaign yes. going on. What yes. is that involved? Well, we're trying to raise $15 million. We will raise $15 million to meet the capital needs of our campus, from renovating the former Davenport campus to okay. moving down to our existing campus, the old uh, Davis Tech uh, High School, uh, renovating that building, moving next door to the Cook Hall, which is the health facility, uh, mm -hmm. health training facility, and then to the field house. All total, $34 million project. We're going to raise 15. How long do you think that's going to take? Tell me how that's going to go. What are we uh, looking uh, as far as a timeline is concerned? Uh, our hope is to wrap this up, the campaign fundraising portion of it, uh, sometime mid to late fall. Okay, the fundraising part of it, mid to late fall. Then when will we start seeing, um, when will the students actually start seeing some of that? Students will already start seeing that this oh, fall. Okay. Um, we've started the construction on the field house already. We needed to get that going from a timing standpoint. So I was in the building today and it's uh, under full construction and that'll be done for the fall as well up on uh, the former Davenport campus. The academic building there is being renovated two of the floors this summer and that'll be ready to go for students as well and then the projects behind that will fall in the coming years. Well, that's fantastic. Okay, yes. so big boost I guess because oh, of huge. this grant and then yes. we just keep moving forward. Absolutely, one step at a time. Exciting times. Right. Well, thanks so much for joining us. Andy Bown, Associate Vice President for College Advancement at GRCC. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it.